The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today, we are going to be pulling packs, trying to get the brand new Willie McGinnis and Drew Brees Legend cards that are in the game. There are also some Team of the Years that you could potentially pull. Guys, there are all kinds of different packs in the game right now as well that I want to show you guys. Uh, we do have the Team of the Year Elite Offensive Pack. Now, this is a 300,000 coin pack. I would really not recommend opening this up with coins. If you want to open up any of these packs, I would really recommend opening it with cash if you're going to do that. Um, just because it's not typically profitable to open it up with coins. Now, I am a crazy person. I'm going to go ahead and open some packs with some freaking coins today. But uh, if you're really trying to build up your ultimate team, I really, really don't recommend opening packs with coins. Just buy the players that you want with coins and then if you're going to spend money on the game obviously spend the money to get the packs or go ahead on a coin website like instantmaddencoins.com use code clickwood at checkout for a 10 percent discount uh <laughs> anyway get the coins that you want that way that's kind of the best way to do it if you're honestly trying to build a team to be honest with you guys but i know a lot of people want to know what's in these packs the team of the year pack is going to the elite excuse me team of the year offensive player pack is going to guarantee you an elite team of the year player on the offensive side of the ball four gold or better players and two silver or better players as well as three team items so it's pretty much like um let's see here like an all pro pack i guess maybe with an additional elite player uh, elite team of the year player it's kind of that seems to be kind of basically what it is um but yeah that's definitely not what i'm going to be opening up today because those things are just ridiculously priced in my opinion um they do also have bundles currently in the game guys and the bundles are really honestly the way to go if you're going to open up packs um what you want to do here is you'll just go in here and check out this one it does have four team of the year elite players um that you could potentially get here for it's ten thousand, which is basically almost a hundred dollars but you do save if, if you were to buy them individually it would cost you twelve thousand to do this but it does only cost ten thousand when i say only i mean it's still a lot of freaking money but if you want to do it i mean that's the way to do it honestly there's also the team of the year slash legendary playoff bundle which is kind of cool i think this is one of the first times that they've done this where they actually have it like 50 50 although it's actually 70 30 in this case but um it contains seven team of the year offensive packs now that's not the elite player pack it's not the one that's going to guarantee you the player but you can potentially get those out of those uh packs but it does guarantee you at least collectibles and things like that that you need for the team of the year uh sets and then also it will guarantee you three legendary playoff packs as well which contains also not necessarily a guaranteed legend uh but certainly a better opportunity to get the legend than you would if you were pulling pro packs so um those are kind of the ways to go and then obviously still you've got the standard pro packs but that's really the packs that are currently in the game there's also the offensive player or the standard nfl playoff player pack um and then here here's actually a good breakdown of what's in those packs that are in that bundle um you contain it contains four offensive team of the year items two gold or better players two silver or better and two team items so that's kind of the quick breakdown of what's currently in the game guys uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to open up three of these legendary playoff packs and then we'll open up a handful of the uh, just standard pro packs as well and see if we can get lucky pulling one of those legends. I'm getting down there in coins right now. Now granted I have quite a few things that I haven't actually opened yet so my coins are actually higher than what it says on there but still I'm getting down there in coins man it's kind of getting crazy but I don't care it's not that big of a deal we'll just go get more coins if we ever need to but um, again guys, so those are the packs that we do want to open as I make a small sale there on a couple things And yeah, I was I was cleaning out the binder just a little bit prior to this video, but let's see here Uh, yeah, so so what we want to do is actually go in guys and open up some packs here The first pack that we're gonna open up is just a standard pro pack I always usually start off with uh with just the standard pro packs just because I feel like if you start off with the expensive packs, like, you just don't get the luck that you need. Although I hardly ever get the luck anyways, but I did get that damn Chad Johnson that one day. So, uh, I was happy about that. Let's rip through this and see if we can get anything. So, we get a Quan Alexander, so probably not going to be anything else in this pack. Nope, not anything else in that pack. We'll open up three of these to start off, and then we'll go in uh, and open up one of those legendary playoff packs. We're actually going to do three total of those, so we'll see if we can get anything good out of those. I wish I had more coins so I can open up one of those uh, elite team of the year offensive player packs. That would be awesome if I got a freaking Zeke, dude. I love that Zeke's on the cover of those, by the way. But, uh, by the way, guys, why do you think that they did multiple offensive, like, rookie, or not rookies, like, uh, running backs and things like that through team of the year? Like, 
I don't understand it. Do you guys like, I mean, obviously David Johnson deserved it and I would have no problem if David Johnson was the team of the year running back, but like, why do they have more than one? Especially considering Ezekiel Elliott's almost guaranteed to get rookie of the year at this point. Like, I don't get it. I'm really confused on that end of things. And you know, you guys know if you've played Mutt, they always make a rookie of the year card. Like the, um, the uh, MVP gets a card, the rookie of the year on offense gets a card, the offensive player of the year gets a card, defensive player of the year, like all that kind of stuff. They always get their own cards. So Eric Reed there. So we really didn't pull anything out of our pro packs, but that's all right. These are where we're going to either win or lose a shitload of coins. So here we go. Let's try and wrap it up, boys. Let's get something decent rolling in here. Come on. Start off with the J.J. Wilcox. Come on. Barry Church. Okay. We start off with two. The the, the garbage-ass Cowboys secondary. Barry Church and J.J. Wilcox. And I say that as a Cowboys fan as I'm wearing my Des Bryant jersey. As you guys can see. Zach Moore there. John Randall. All right. Not amazing, but something. And we get a Jack Youngblood collectible. Nah, that's not. This is not going to be a profitable pack unless we get crazy lucky here. Mari Cooper. Reese Alexander. Come on. This is another Elite. And it's a John Elway collectible, which is at least a little bit better. But still probably not super uh, super expensive by any means. So this is probably going to be a pretty decent sized loss, I would guess. At least we're getting uh, some decent gold players, but doesn't really matter at this point because nobody's running freaking gold squads so they're pretty much all collectibles at this point to be completely honest so nothing really out of that pack unfortunately we're gonna do two more of these though before we wrap up today's video so hopefully we get something decent out of at least one of these it would be so nice to pull another legend i know i say another you guys are some of you guys are thinking like you already pulled a legend but seriously for how many packs that we open on youtube like it's crazy that we've only gotten one and i got i don't think i got a single legend at all in madden 16 so it's been like what a year and a half of opening packs like every weekend and never pulling freaking legends it's crazy all right here we go legend collectible and it's a willie mcginnis collectible at least that's definitely at least good because he's the new legend so that might have like a little bit of an additional value to it right now so that's nice and then we get a Sam Shield 88 overall. I will definitely take that. Any of the elite players that we can pull that are legend cards, I definitely like that. So that's a, certainly a good pull for us. That should at least help us at least make our coins back on this pack. So I'm very happy to get that card. That's a good pull for us. Back-to-back -back decent pulls there on the elite. So I'm happy about that one. Definitely not too shabby, boys. Not too shabby. Michael Crabtree. Wrap it up with another elite. Let's go. And it's an Emmett Smith. My favorite player of all time. So we do end up getting actually three legend collectibles out of this one. Not too bad. Not too bad. I will definitely take that. Let's open up, guys, the last legendary playoff pack. And maybe we can get something beastly out of this one. Maybe there will be a full Willie McGinnis in this one. Or maybe a Drew Brees. That would be freaking epic. Sean Taylor collectible to start off, but it's a gold. I wish it was one of the elites. That would have been freaking amazing. But at least it's something. It's At least it's something. All right, let's continue. Let's go from the back on this one. We get a Jermaine Gresham, okay. Mike McCoy, Arian Foster, Lee Turner. Come on, let's get this. Let's get this red rolling in. Come on, give me that freaking full legend, boys. Come on, one time. Oh, Kevin Mawai collectible. Damn, those things are kind of garbage, to be honest with you. Come on. Ah, come on. I'm so nervous right now. I feel like we're gonna pull something good, but is it gonna happen? Hey, it's a Sean Taylor. Another Sean Taylor collectible. Could be worse. Sean Taylor's at least a really good legend, so his collectibles are worth a little bit more than the average one, at least. Duran Harmon, all right, come on. One more card, and it is not going to be an elite. So there you have it, guys. Those are the packs for the day. Unfortunately, we didn't get any full legends, but we got a couple decent pulls out of that pack opening. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll go ahead and hit that notification bar next to the subscribe button as well. And that way you guys will not miss when I upload new videos. We've got all kinds of great stuff coming out this weekend. And uh, we're also going to do a Madden Mobile pack opening today as well. So be sure to stop on back for that. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.